Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, if I accept a plea, can I change my mind? When you take a plea, what happens is that the judge has accepted a knowing, intelligent, and voluntary change of plea from not guilty to guilty or no contest. This is done with the understanding that whatever the terms are, both parties have agreed and stipulated that the plea is the sentence and that it will close the case. Most times, the agreed sentence is pronounced and starts right then and there. But sometimes a plea is taken and sentencing doesn't get done until later on. For instance, there are diversion programs that require you to plead guilty as a condition of entering the program. It's later withdrawn when you successfully complete. Sometimes, say in the event of a cooperation or substantial assistance agreement, you've got to plea first, not knowing what your sentence will be until after your snitch value has been graded. When it comes to trying to rescind a plea, whether or not you were sentenced is probably going to make all of the difference in the world. If your change of plea has been accepted, but you've not yet been sentenced, then Rule 3.170F says the court may, at its discretion and shall, for good cause, at any time before a sentence, permit a plea of guilty or no contest to be withdrawn. And while the court doesn't have to grant your request, the odds are good that it will. On the other hand, if your plea was accepted and you were sentenced, then Rule 3.170L only gives you a 30-day window to petition the court to withdraw your plea, but your odds of success drop dramatically. The reasons are simple. Courts are encouraged to allow free citizens to go to trial, but once sentence has been imposed, then you're required to demonstrate a manifest injustice that requires correction so as to undo an otherwise voluntary plea. Anything less would simply slam the court system with cases of buyer's remorse, defendants who simply want to undo their plea after the fact. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.